Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyal. In this video, we are going to solve one Math Olympiad challenge from expressions. Question is square root 17 times 19 times 21 times 23 plus 16. While solving, I will use substitution. I will show you the algebraic manipulation steps and we will conclude our result. I am going to solve this problem by two ways. So let me write here method number one, or approach number one we can think about. Let me write the given square root as, I can consider 17 as 20 minus 3, 19 as 20 minus 1, I can write 21 as 20 plus 1, and I can write 23 as 20 plus 3 plus 16. Now let us consider y equal to 20 or 20 equal to because it is common. See, in each bracket it is there. So let me write it is equal to y. I will write y minus 3 y minus 1, y plus 1, y plus 3, plus 16. Now I will write our expression y minus 3, y plus 3. Then I will write y minus 1, y plus 1, plus 16. Now we know the algebraic identity which states that a minus b times a plus b equal to a square minus b square. Difference of a square form. So I will conclude this bracket, these two brackets. Finally, I can write y square minus b square is 3 square. So I can write 9. Similarly, for y minus 1 and y plus 1, it is again y square minus 1 plus 16. Okay, now take the product. So once I will take the expansion from two brackets, I will be having y square times y square, so y power 4 y square times negative 1, negative y square, negative y times y square, negative y, 9 y square. So overall it will give us negative 10 y square. Minus 9 times minus 1, so plus 9, plus 16. I can write this as y power 4 minus 10 y square plus 25. Now one more algebraic identity will come into the picture which is a square minus twice ab plus b square equal to a minus b whole square. So I can write this quartic equation looks like y power 4 minus 10 y square plus 25. This equation I can consider in this manner. y square whole square minus 2 times I will write y square times 5 plus 5 square. Now you can consider a is y square, b is 5. So it is a square minus 2 times a times b plus b square. This is nothing but y square minus 5 whole square. So I cancel square root and square. Then I will be having y square minus 5. Okay. Now let's put the value of y square. Once I will put the value of y square, so it will come out 
20 square it was our substitution so it is y equal to minus 5 400 minus 5 our answer is 390 so this value will be 395 this is first approach second approach is conventional vacuum let me write here conventional means i am not going to put anything extra i will consider our square root as i will write this one as 17 i will consider 17 as it is 19 i will write 17 plus 2 21 i will write 17 plus 4 and last 23 I will write 17 plus 6 plus 16. Okay. Now let us consider 17 is equal to suppose t. Our square root will give us t t plus 2 t plus 4 t plus 6 plus 16. Now I will consider first and last term all together and the mid two terms all together. What I am saying which is t times t plus 4 then t plus 2 t plus 4. t times t plus 6 t plus 4 plus 16. Now let's take the product. Once I will multiply, then it will become t square plus 60. These two products. Now, if you will consider these two expansion products, then I will have t square, t times t. t times 4 is 4t. 2 times t is 2t. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 16. If I will write like this t square plus 60 and second bracket also, then we will have now we can consider t square plus 60. Square. Substitute this one. Let me substitute this equal to u so it will convert into quadratic form so let me write that one it will become u in bracket u plus 8 plus 16 so we are having the square root u square plus 8u plus 16 which is u plus 4 Ultimately, because this is written u plus 4 whole square. So it will come out u plus 4. Let me write whole square along with the square root. Okay. So this will give us u plus 4. So now put back the value of u and t. I will get my answer. So u was t square plus 60. It was u okay. and t was 17. Let me write here. So let's put 17 is square plus 6 times 17 plus 4. This will value will come out 289 plus 102 plus 4. If you will take sum, you will get 395, which is our sum. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye till next video.